said I unto them. You see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lies waste. And the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem. That we be no more a reproach. <laughs> let us. Wish I had a real church to talk back to me. Don't y'all be scared now. I said let us. Build up the wall of Jerusalem that we be no more a reproach. I want to talk to you today from the topic, the reproach is over. I wish I had 10 people just to have church with me right through there. If you really could, could bless God with me, can you tell somebody the reproach is over? Y'all, why y'all gonna do your boy like that? I said, look at somebody and tell them the reproach is over. I wish I had y'all so, ooh, I don't know why y'all had it like that this morning. Glory to God. I could go sit down right now. I've told you really what God told me to tell you. But because y'all want me to be churchy, I got to preach to you. But if you understood what I just said, I said the reproach is over. Go tell the enemy, I said, it's over. God's about to end your reproach. What is reproach? Let me go ahead and let me just uh, say it like this. It is my disappointment. It is everything that has happened that broke me in a place where I was supposed to be whole. Reproach begins to be the place where somebody broke something in my life and it was once repaired. Some people have broken your trust. Some people have broken your feelings. Have broken, amen, even your home up. Some people tried to break, amen, the enemy tried to break even your own mental cycle. Tried to break your mental state. Tried to break your sleep. Tried to break in the places where God had said you were made whole. But the Bible says, will thou be made whole? He does not want you in here as a half saint. He don't want you living, amen, in a life where you are always broken and you can't trust nobody. You don't like nobody. You don't like the church. You don't like church people. You can't trust nobody's pastor. You don't want nobody to say nothing to you. Don't lay hands on me. Don't pray for me. I'm good. I have been hurt enough. I was reproached. I am in a place of brokenness. In other words, the enemy came in and trespassed in a place where I was not expecting him to break me. I was, I was planning on being whole, but something violated my structure. God, I feel God in here. Woo! Hallelujah. When my structure has been violated, I'm torn. I'm messed up. And now I am Oh God, in a place where I can't even hide my brokenness. What does that mean, my sister? It means that I am now exposed to all kinds of attacks of the enemy. 
you have to be careful, amen, that in this life we do not allow the enemy, amen, to take us to a place where we cannot give God glory, amen, in our life because we're so exposed. But God sent a word this morning. He told me to tell you that I am resealing your walls. There's no reason for you to have, my God, something good, something valuable, amen, that everybody has access to. But God is getting ready to sound the alarm and tell everything that has been touching you, that has been violating the space, that has trespassed against God. He said, I'm about to kick it out and reseal the wall again and tell the devil he can't come in. I need somebody to find you, my God, one good neighbor and tell your enemy he can't Come in. come in. The reproach is over. I'm healed. Now. Oh, I'm healed now. You should have gotten me when I was broken and down and out. But now that God has healed my brokenness, I'm not going to let the devil steal what God gave me to keep. You got to protect who God made you. I can't be you. I can't be you. I can't be you. But I can be who God told me to be. And you can't let people break you down, my God, just because you are not in their approval. The devil is a liar. My God, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And you have got to protect who God made you to be. Who am I preaching to right here? The Bible says that Nehemiah looked at Jerusalem after they had been through a war. Burnt down their cities, had done a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Their enemies that came in and violated, my God, their territory. He looked up and he said, well, Jerusalem is being repaired. But the problem is, is they have nothing to protect them. Hell, so he went on a fast. He prayed so that he may get instruction from God. My God, and while he was doing all of that wrong, my God, the man of God began to go and build the wall. As he was building the wall, his enemies came out, Tina, my God, and started mocking and laughing at him. My God, and said, oh, what are you doing? Shall you mock the king? My God, I don't care nothing about your king. I gotta protect the presence of the Lord. I got Jerusalem. My God held the house, the temple of God. And as the temple of God, we had to, my God, build something to protect the presence of the Lord. My God, let me show you here that you are the city, and God is oh God, and God is rebuilding you. Wherever the enemy came in, my God, I thought you would be a bottle of waste. My God, thought that you were useless in this season. Oh, God, thought that you would never, ever, my God, come out of what you came out of. I want you to know that God is rebuilding the city. And the city is your soul. And you have got to tell the devil, I am not about to let nothing separate me from the glory and the presence of the Lord in my life. My God is too important. I worked too hard. I fought too long. I cried too much. My God, to let the enemy come in any kind of way. My God, and take what God said that I can have. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus right through here. My God, and tell them that the reproach is over. You have been violating the city long enough. You've been discouraging me long enough. You said I couldn't make it. You said I couldn't be here. But little did you know that God was repairing the walls every crack every seal and the bible said that nehemiah went and he got on the wall and the bible said and when he went up there and repaired it there was no gaps that were left in the wall i came to tell you right now that whatever the enemy thought he was about to slip through the cracks god said i just sealed it I need somebody here, my God, to help me live Jesus and say, God just sealed it.
Thought he was going to take my child. But God sealed that too. Thought he was going to take my money. But God sealed that too. He thought it was a gap in my mind. But God sealed that too. He thought it was a gap in this church. But God sealed that too. Seal it God. So we won't be exposed. Seal it God. So we can't what you gave us sell us God so we can know what your glory really is wish I had somebody pushing me in this morning that's why the enemy is so mad because he sees your protection is back up again Job said Job said he was an upright and a good man but the devil came in and said I came to try somebody but the Bible said he looked at Job he said have you considered my servant Job he's a perfect and an upright man he said I can't touch Job because you sealed him you protected him you kept him alive that's why the devil is mad right now he can't get in I said he can't get in I said he can't get in you tried everything but I got my joy you tried everything but I kept my anointing you tried everything but I kept on praying you tried everything but I kept on going he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge my fortress my God in him will I trust it is it's over the crying it's over the depression it's over the war is pouring over your life God just sealed it up God just sealed it up when you praise me I'll seal it when you worship me I'll seal it when you glorify me I'll seal it when you praise me lift me up lift me up and I'll draw all men unto me somebody anybody help me praise him for the reproach is over the reproach is done it's fixed it's over it's complete yeah yeah I bless you. <laughs> then Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 11 says, Restore. I pray you to them. Tell somebody it's coming back. Hold time, my mama. Even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, their houses, also the hundredth part of their money. Y'all ain't gonna shout it here. My God, and of the corn, the wine, and the oil, and that you exact of them. I need you to find somebody and tell them, neighbor, God's going to give you exactly, my God, it all back. I need you to find three people and shout, exactly. You're going to get exactly everything the devil stole. You're going to get all that back. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Restoration is coming to me. The seal of God is on my life. The power is on my life. What the devil meant for evil, God. Turn it around for my good. I just wanted to give you a quick word and it said the reproach. is over.
the disappointment, the defeat, the broken places. The Spirit of the Lord told me this morning, tell them I said, I came to heal the reproach. Sister Virginia, you hear what I just said? I said the Lord said that he came to heal the reproach. To the sitting here, man, we were looking, thinking everybody got it together. But you don't know the places I'm really broken. Who, who you passed sitting in that chair? You don't know. I built this wall I was not expecting the enemy to do me like that when I got saved I was not expecting for that to happen to me soon as I got close to God looked like a reproach hit I started getting disappointed in places man that I thought I would never be disappointed Aunt Tina I I was faced with stuff that I didn't know that saved people still had to face. It was a reproach. But I had to ask God, Dave, Lord, heal me. I, I'm not saying that the presence of the Lord is not here. But walls are important because you can't have walls. First of all, let me say this and then we can go. You can't have all of these walls, huh? And not have a door. Because you need an exit. Oh God. He'll give you a way of escape. So you can't just have, my God, a whole life full of walls. Don't build the temple and not have any doors. Let me help you. Because you can't build a temple, my God, and only have walls. You know what that is? Walls with no doors is a box. And I don't want to serve God boxed in. I wish I had somebody here. Y'all don't like this kind of word. Y'all don't like this? Don't try to box me. My anointing has doors. I'll go into places and God will open doors. Even if the enemy has shut doors in your face, by the time you show up, God will say, I will open up a door that no man can shut. See? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust nobody. Walls. That last relationship I was in messed me up. Walls. See, but deliverance is not walls. Deliverance is me finding the door. God didn't say, I am the wall. He said, I am the door. Come on, church. I, I, I don't preach. I'm, I'm teaching now. My God, he said, I am the door. I've seen your walls. And we all put walls up in certain areas of our life. But God, when God walks in, it is a fresh, my God, a breath of fresh air. Because God begins to say, I, where, I was, where I was boxed. I didn't see my way out. I didn't know how God was going to do it. I didn't know how I was going to come out of this. And then all of a sudden, he becomes a door for me. I was going to preach something else, my God. But then watch how I tie this into this message, man. Watch how smart I am. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. But thou, O oh Lord, see, this has been the Lord for me. He's not only been a door, but he's been a shield for me. My God, my God, he's been a shield for me. And then, and then he was not just, my God, my shield, but he was also my glory. 
my God. He went from shielding me, my God, to making sure, my God, that I became his glory. And then, my God, and then I watched the, the woman king the other day, and I hate to show y'all what the but that part was. Amen. But y'all go see it. I give y'all permission. All you apostolic saints, go to the movies. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then, then, then she looked over. She looked over. You can put your hands down. Go on, go on over there somewhere. Hey. She, she looked up. She looked at her. She came to her like this. She looked, she said, she said, don't bow your head to nobody. Oh, that thing hit me, mama. My God, because that scripture said, lift up your head. All ye gates and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. Let me tell you something. When you bow your head, you honor. That's honor. When the queen died, my God, those that didn't curse it, my God, they honored him. They did this as soon as she walked by. My God, they had to bow. You got to stop bowing your head to stuff that's not your God. Come in the church with your head all bowed down. Stop worshiping your circumstance. My God, and lift up your head, all ye gates. I don't worship that. You can, that can't bring me out. That can't do anything for me. So I lift up my head because that's the whole God. I need the king of glory to come in. Who is this king of glory? Who is this king of glory? Who is this king of glory? The Lord. The Lord God. Strong and mighty. You tell me, don't, don't bow your head. Don't, bow, don't you put your head down right now another day. My God, even if you have to cry, cry with your head up. I wish I had somebody here. If you're going to be hurting, I'll hurt with your head up. My God, I got to let God know I don't care what happens. I will not bow to this situation. God heal the reproach in me. Am I teaching all right? I'm teaching all right. Your door is Jesus. So Sister Red, where every place where you put up walls, you at least need to have one door. Then the enemy don't have to box you into your own thoughts. He don't have to box you into your past. He don't have to box you in to what they said about you. He don't have to box you in, my God, to every place you've been hurt. You don't have to box you in, my God, to the places where you felt like you disappointed God. You don't have to be boxed in there because the door has showed up. And that's what he told me. He said, oh, God, after I build the walls, here comes the enemies. And they asked him, twin, four times, four times, come down, come down, come down, come down. Nehemiah said, what I'm coming down there for? Because I know y'all want to kill me because of what I'm building. Oh, they ain't catch up, but that's God. Hallelujah. I said, sometimes the enemy want to kill you just because of what you're building. I'm not even done yet. I'm not even finished. He just want to kill you in the process. He's scared of your finish. Ooh, girl, I just preached. I said, your enemy is scared of your finish. I'm, I'm anointed to complete this task, prophet. This more I'm anointed to complete it. I don't care. It don't matter. Give me a church full of people that's ready to build something. Right. And I don't care how many enemies come against us. I don't care if we got to move to another church. I said I will not let nothing. My God calls a reproach on the kingdom of God. My God, we're going to seal the walls. We're going to close the doors. We're going to do what God tells us to do. We're going to protect God's people. Y'all, y'all, I said we're going to protect God's people. We're not going to let the enemy come in here any kind of way and do what he want to do when he want to do it. The devil is a liar. As long as you've got a Nehemiah on the wall, I refuse to come down until God finished the work that he said he was going to do in us. I'm done. God bless you. I was at the house. Amen. And I was getting finished. I was getting ready. Amen. And I so clearly heard my grandfather say, 
this morning, amen, before I got up, it, it woke me up actually. And it was almost like he whispered in my ear, boy, don't stop preaching. Sister Keisha got me emotional for the whole day, of course. You know, but I heard his voice. I know what his voice sounds like. Yeah. Boy, don't stop preaching. I said, God. I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because I know the voice of my man of God. I'm sorry. Y'all forgive me. Glory to God. I know his voice. Whew. My sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. Sister Rich and I, so I heard him. I heard him. I got to preach today. My God, what time I got to preach? Four, five, four, four o'clock in a couple of hours. I got I to gotta preach again. Boy, don't stop preaching. I got up and I first checked the room. Because my TV was off. <laughs> huh? And I was like... One eye. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Lord. Amen. Amen. But saints of God, amen, I just wanted to give you that quick, 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 quick word. Amen. That the reproach, the disappointment, the brokenness, it's over. God is sealing where the devil had a crack. I don't care what the enemy tried this week. Tell that devil it has been sealed. Tell him it's over. I need 10 people to start praising God for it's over. That's good. That's good praise. I come to decree it. Hey, I came to declare it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, yes. 